Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedia back with another Dokkan Battle video. So last night, we got a massive data download on Global, which brought with it all the details we need for the upcoming transforming LR Broly. And he is looking absolutely glorious. So let's talk about it. But before we get into the details, there are a few things I want to cover real quick. The first thing is that he is most likely not going to be a Dokkan Fest exclusive LR, which means that he's going to be coming with probably a legendary summon banner as opposed to a Dokkan Fest banner. And I know that makes a huge difference for a lot of people because number one, the rates to pull him are going to be much lower and the featured units are going to be much worse than your average Dokkan Fest banner. And it's just overall less value for your stones. So. Of course, if you guys want to save for a better banner in the future like the 4-year banners, I totally understand. But to me, it really doesn't make that much of a difference because I just want this unit so freaking bad. And you guys might feel that way too by the end of this after you see all his stats, his passive, and also his super attack animations, which I'll show you at the end of this video. But yeah, he's really good, but of course, like I said, a little bit less hype now that we know he's not a Dokkan Fest exclusive LR, but I guess it was a little bit unrealistic to expect two back-to-back -back Dokkan Fest LRs anyways, but that's number one. Number two is that he does share the exact same name as the physical Dragon Ball Super Broly, and I've seen a lot of outrage out there about this. To me personally, once again, doesn't make much of a difference because I never pulled him, so <laughs> I guess maybe it's a blessing in disguise, but this does mean you can't run this new LR Broly and the Dragon Ball Super Physical Broly on the same team, which would have been great, but it is what it is. Although, this does also mean you can run the original OG STR LR Broly with the new Tech LR Broly, and these two guys actually share the exact same links. So they activate all seven of the links that they both have, and they will make for an absolutely devastating combination. So I can't wait to hopefully try that out. If I pull this guy, fingers crossed, we'll see. And uh, last but not least, the French data miner Kawhi did issue a new tweet today saying that this Broly most likely is dropping on Global on May 23rd, which is this upcoming Thursday, as opposed to the 21st, Tuesday, which is what I said in my video yesterday. And I apologize for the switch up, but I did want to make sure to mention this in the beginning of this video so that there's no misinformation out there. But with all that said, let's get into the details of this new transforming LR Broly. As you can see, he is a tech type, and this is his SSR form, his SSR art, and hopefully, this is the silhouette that we can all see when we summon for him this upcoming Thursday. Good luck to you guys as well if you're summoning too. Moving on to his TUR form, we're just going to take a quick look at the art. Super nice, super clean. I like it. Last but not least, we have, of course, the LR form here. There we go, Nightmarish Impact Super Saiyan Broly. Really dope art, I wish it was animated here, but you can still tell. It's really nice, and his leader skill now. Let's just start from the beginning. We're gonna jump right into it because I know you guys are itching to find out exactly what this guy does. His leader skill is Resurrected Warriors Category Key Plus 4, HP, Attack, and Defense Plus 130%, or Extreme Tech Types Key Plus 4, HP, Attack, and Defense Plus 100%. His super attacks are Bloody Smash for the 12 key and Eraser Cannon for the 18 key. The animations are absolutely insane. I'll show you guys in just a second. So the 12 key causes colossal damage and lowers enemy's defense, whereas the Racer Cannon 18 key causes mega colossal damage and greatly lowers enemy's defense. His passive is called Devilish Chase, attack and defense plus 90% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 50% if it's an ultra super attack, launches an additional super attack when facing two or more enemies, of course that's a guaranteed super, and he also transforms when conditions are met. And here's the thing I really love about him. His transformation condition is really easy to satisfy. Transform starting from fourth turn from the start of the battle. That's it, the exact same actually as the physical Dragon Ball Super Broly. And I hope they continue this trend of just really easy to meet conditions because I hate it when you have to have like an HP restriction, also a turn restriction, and maybe even like an enemy restriction, or something like that. But either way, I don't like those. I really like this though. Fourth turn of the fight, you'll transform, so it's really easy to activate. Link skills are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, the Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And like I said, I'll show you guys real quick. The OG STR LR Broly has those exact same links in his link set. So these guys are just going to be 
the most insane linking partners, even better than TUR Broly and LR Broly. So uh, that's really awesome. And his categories are Resurrected Warriors, Movie Bosses, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, and Transformation Boost. Here are his max stats. I've heard some rumblings about people being upset about the fact that his stats are a little bit low. And I guess for some will LR at rainbow status, 20,000. Under 21k attack is a little bit low, but maybe they took into consideration the fact that his passive is so insane. It would be too OP to give him a ton of attack. I don't really know. Either way, I'm okay with it. Only available on the global version. Of course, we all know that he will be making his way over to the JP side at some point in the future, but for now, he is a global exclusive, which is awesome, and I absolutely love that. <laughs> but anyways, moving on to some extra details now. Uh, there's actually not much to see here except for the fact that you can farm his super attack with these two drop rollies, which is really nice to save some Kai's. But last but not least, let's go here to his transformation, Nightmarish Impact, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Before I get into any of the details, just take a second to appreciate this absolutely glorious art, guys. It's it's so sick, so freaking sick. And if, if for nothing else than the art and the amazing animations alone, I really, really want this unit. But of course, the awesome animations and the awesome art are on top of the fact that he has an insane passive, he has an amazing active skill, and he is just an absolute, absolute beast. Like, he probably is top... I want to say top three hardest hitting units in the game. Um, I don't know exactly how they compare to the LR Goku and Frieza and LR Kale and Khalifa and also I guess Gohan and Goten now, but they, he's, he's got to be like right up there. Like, I don't know what the ranking is, but it's got to be pretty close. Anyways, I don't want to get into that because like I said, I didn't do any calculations. I don't know for sure, but uh, I can be pretty confident in saying that it's, it's a close race. It's a close race for the top there. All right. Um, let's get into his leader, actually leader skills the same, I don't know why I'm talking about that. Super attacks, change to Omega Blaster for the 12 key, and Gigantic Meteor for the 18 key. His 12 key causes Colossal Damage and greatly lowers enemy's defense, whereas 18 key causes Mega Colossal and massively lowers enemy's defense. And I believe massively is actually an 80% debuff. Uh, yeah, 80% debuff, so a huge, huge debuff on the Ultra Super to the enemy's defense. His passive now is Devilish Siege. Attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 88% if it's an ultra super attack. He also launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when facing only one enemy, and launches an additional guaranteed super when facing two or more enemies. So overall, essentially very similar to the pre-transformation uh, passive right here, except higher percentages of course, and also he always launches an additional now regardless of how many enemies he's facing, except when you're facing only one, it's not a guaranteed super, it has a medium chance, which is a 30% chance to become a super attack. Let me just check that real quick to be sure, uh, medium, oh never mind, it's 25%, my bad, so 25% chance for additional to become a super attack if you're facing only one enemy. Pretty insane still, I mean 100% guaranteed plus the 88% for an ultra super plus the additional supers, he's going to be outputting just stupid, stupid amounts of damage, as I've already said before, but that's not even taking into consideration his active skill, which is called Kekarot, because of course it is, what else is it going to be called? Plus 24 key and attack plus 48% for one turn. So the 24 key will guarantee him a full key ultra super, 48% attack here. Some people might feel like it's a little bit low, I've heard that, but you gotta take into consideration he has LR stats, he has uh, insane passive, he's also getting a 24 key super off, so he's gonna be fine. This, this active skill is actually quite broken. And also, I do love, like I said before, I love, you know, active skills and just like transformations that are easy to activate, right? And for this one, all you have to do is be transformed. So once you get the transformation off, you can activate the active skill whenever you want. And uh, that's that's just awesome. So there you go. Active skill, passive skill, all those things. And his links are the same, I believe. His categories, of course, stay the same. And that is the transforming Broly for you guys. He is just he is just crazy. He is he's a crazy, crazy unit. Okay, some more things to convince you further of that fact, or further convince you of that fact. We got some details here that are actually interesting. Okay, so active skill here. I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys can read it. I'll read it for you. 
Active skills are always calculated separately from passive skills, meaning his additional attack of plus 48% results in a total attack boost of 326.24% when performing an ultra super attack. The same boost applies also to additional attacks. So, um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm so excited, man. I'm like having a hard time coming up with words or what I'm even like feeling or thinking about this unit, but all I can say is. He's ridiculous. He is ridiculous. 326.24% and that's not including a potential additional attack if you're facing two or more enemies or even if you're facing one, there's still a 25% chance of that becoming an ultra becoming a super 2, right? So, uh, he is is great. It's an awesome awesome unit and uh, I just really want him. I really really want him. I thought I wanted to go on and go 10 really bad, but I want this guy even more and as I mentioned in a previous video he is based off the Broly second coming version of the Broly as opposed to of course the Dragon Ball Super Broly and you guys just keep that in mind if you guys have seen that movie then the super attacks we're about to watch are gonna be very familiar very very familiar and in fact I actually watched the second coming movie like a couple days ago to hype myself up for this unit and dude it's they did a great job they did an excellent job let's go over to YouTube now uh, actually no, this is not YouTube. This is YouTube here. And of course, as always, huge shout out, huge thank you to uh, my boy DBZ World for posting the Super Attack animations. I'm just gonna turn down the volume actually because I don't think there's gonna be voice lines in here. And let's go, here we go. So uh, he's gonna take us through, I believe, the SSR Super Attack first, and then it's gonna be a TUR and then the LR. And I'm not sure if this video actually has the active skill but we'll see okay so the first thing is bloody smash i love the close-ups there nice okay so that is number one number two is the tur form i'm not sure if it's gonna be different probably gonna be the same actually i, I doubt they would do three different super attacks so far so yeah so far it's the same bloody smash once again so for the ssr and tur forms it's gonna be bloody smash I don't mind it though, cause as you can see, it's pretty sick. And now we're getting into the LR super attack. This is probably gonna be the 12 key super here that we see. And then we're gonna see the 18 key super and hopefully the transformed super attacks as well. Oh, it's bloody smash again. Okay, so <laughs> bloody smash for the 12 key super for the LR. And uh, it's gonna be eraser cannon after, right? All right, so <laughs> oh no, we get we get some more stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind, we get some more stuff. All right, so he does the oh never mind. That's it's the 18 key. I need to stop talking. I, I'm I'm too excited, guys. I need to stop talking. Okay, so this is the eraser cannon. This is the 24 key super right here. Check it out. And here we have the transformation. I'm not sure if he's gonna show us the transformation. No, so no transformation animation. It's really dope. But maybe you guys can find it out there on the internet somewhere. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dig into it for now. But there is Omega Blaster, dude. Oh my God, it's so good. And this is the 24 key, I believe. I think this is a 24 key. Gigantic Meteor, yeah. And what I was saying about the movie before is that they literally use the exact, like, animation. The exact animation that was in the actual movie, right? So if you guys saw the movie, and especially if it's reset in your mind like me, um, that's, that's it's just extra exciting, man. Because you're like, I literally just saw this man do it in the animation, in the movie, and then now it's in the game. And I just, I want him so bad. They did an amazing job. Um, so yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's all I can really say, guys. I, I am extremely, extremely hyped. I'm definitely summoning. I have, you know, collabs planned for you guys. So get hyped for that if you guys enjoy watching my collab summons. Haven't done it well, done one in a while, so I thought I was overdue for one. And hopefully we all pull the Broly. I know it's not going to happen because somebody's got to get shafted. That's just how the game works. And if you got everything you wanted, whenever you wanted it, it would be boring, right? But... Still, getting shafted sucks, so I'm sending you guys all my luck. Send me your luck as well. Let's pull the Broly together, 
and uh, I guess we'll start saving for four years after that. I don't really know, man. They're making it really hard for us to save, but that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below all your thoughts about this new Broly. And once again, if you haven't you know, told me or if you didn't tell me in the previous video where I asked this, then let me know if you are planning to summon for this Broly now that you've seen all the details, you've seen all the animations, and uh, how many stones you plan to go in. Your boy Tiger is probably going to do about 400 to 500 and call it there because I, I don't want to wail too much and also I do want to start saving you know, for four year as soon as possible. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna spend a decent amount of stones. I think 400 to 500 is good, but it's not a ton. And we'll start saving from there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. And if you did, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see. Then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you must stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's all I really gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love all of you. Have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.